What's up, guys? So, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff. I've kind of been talking out loud. Um, let, me, let me position this camera better, actually. So thank you all for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. I, I did absolutely nothing. I mean, I literally had like the least birthday day ever. This is kind of a weird angle. I don't like this that much. Let's this book. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's better. I have I, I celebrated my weekend, my birthday last weekend in Poland. And I think it, it was like enough, you know. I just chilled, just kicked it, just laid back. It's a lot of pizza. Instead of alcohol, it was pizza, you know? Um, so I had like a bunch of stuff on my mind. It's like kind of this Mercury Pisces. Like you guys know me. You guys know I have the good parts of me. I'm always admitting that what's good, what's bad. And I'm very random. So if you can't follow my way of like thinking, communicating, like I, I don't blame you because like I can barely follow, follow it. But if you get anything from it, like... I kind of, I, pr I really need like two hours for my videos, honestly, 15 minutes is not enough. I need to just talk freely and just like, I do my best talking when like no one's watching. That's why I love living alone, right? Which sucks because I love relationships too. Cause like I'm a seventh house, Venus, Mars, North node. So I, I'm like focused on that part of life, but then I'm s like, like my highest energy, like my highest thoughts, like, like are really, I'm telling you, like, it's just like my, I need that. That Sagittarius moon like Pisces 28 degree, like all that stuff, it only comes out when I'm just alone and talking out loud at my house. It's weird. I don't really give a fuck what people think, but I just like, like downloads come to me and I just like, I just start like getting places with like my thoughts and like my, like whatever. And I've, I was always told that like very high peep, very high person that I don't really, everything I, I, I have the, like the wisdom within, I just need to fucking speak and just like learn to let go of like what like needing to be right obviously always listening but just speaking so i was thinking about some experiences um you know i had some thoughts about like like the jupiterian ex expansion um and how you know the jupiterian wants to just continuously 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 continue to expand 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 experience experience blah 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 blah, blah. It just gets more and more and more and then there's saturn right and then saturn is the limiter and saturn gets looked at in such a bad way by, by some people but it's actually like saturn is like the parent that puts you in check when you're just like getting too high like not like on drugs but just like when you're just like not seeing reality straight right um and also, but another thing I kind of was thinking about Saturn is that it's this energy that makes, it's it's about gratitude. I just came up with, like, I just thought about this, like, because when you're Jupiter, 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 imagine you're just like expanding, expanding, you're doing this and this. It's, it's thing after thing after thing. Think about Sagittarius energy, right? It's adventure, 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 adventure. But when does the Sagittarian have time to think about what he gained? I, I know that the Sagittarian is a philosopher, but it's a fire sign, it's action. So Saturn to me is about stopping the expansion and learning to take things, not, not take things for granted. And, um, I know it's not seen as like this very like, um, introspective planet. Um, but I think Saturn leaves that for the moon, leaves that for the being. Saturn's job is not to show you how to think, right? Saturn's job is to show you how the universe works, how God communicates through symbolism, through like the, this balance of Jupiter and Saturn, right? Because in ancient astrology, Saturn was the last planet. There's no Neptune, there's no Uranus, there's no Pluto. So it stopped at Saturn and Jupiter was like, these were the two, expansion, you know, restriction or where the fucking opposite um, expansion is. I literally don't know English anymore. In 10 years, I'm not going to even speak English. I'm going to speak Arabic and fucking... I don't even know what language, probably some Mongolian language. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, it just had me thinking, you know, after all these peak experiences, right? Cause like, I don't care like what you've experienced. If you've experienced like the highest with love, the highest with money, the highest with, with, with the opposite, with lack of love, with lack of money, with lack of spirituality, with lack of faith, with happiness, with, Whatever the fuck, you know, with, with best friends, no friends, um, 
amazing family relations, horrible family relations, health issues, health non-issues, I don't know, you, you, you get it, there's just endless possibilities, what I found is that like, as a Jupiterian myself, like I can talk, right, I'm a Pisces in, in classical astrology, right before Neptune came in, Pisces is Jupiter, and Sag is Jupiter, and I'm a Pisces Sag, so like I'm a double Jupiterian, right, and it's in Cancer in my 11th house, square my sun. So it's like, I have too much of that Jupiter. So literally that, that metaphor is actually me, like a hedonist in, in a sense, right? I'm a hedonist in the sense that like, I have to, like I expand so much that I have to hold myself back while someone else might have the opposite problem of like, like I was talking to, to a friend yesterday, she was saying how risk adverse she is. I was like, I am like the opposite. Like I take too many risks. Like I'm so not afraid of death and I'm so like, trusting of, of in my faith of like being protected by God and if I die I die and like that's what it's it shocks people to hear this about someone who has a brain and who you know lives in this world who's educated in great schools and comes from a good family that he's not a you know and like has a, like a lot to lose per se right um that I'm not afraid to die and that's what like if I die I die right like that's like that's my answer like i'm not leaving like even if there's war i'm not leaving i mean if there's like war war maybe but like i just i feel i feel protected you know and people get kind of freaked out by that and um i, I mean they don't say it but i feel it because i feel like it's like you have to accept your own mortality at some point that's a huge thing in my book right uh overcoming the fear of death changed my life but that's also part of like what Saturn shows us is like Saturn, you know, another thing that Saturn represents is age. Saturn represents aging, right? Um, leave, losing some of our youthful physical beauty. And like, I was thinking about like last weekend, right? You guys know I'm very transparent. I used to be a party fucking machine. I think now it's like down to like maybe 10, maybe 15 days a year that like I consume any alcohol and it's usually like four days in a row because it's like a music festival or maybe like a two day festival. But like, it's not, it's never like, I'm not someone that like you can like, so, like a friend will message, Hey, let's, let's get a beer. I'll probably just like say no, which is kind of lame. I know, but like, I just don't really fucking like drinking or anything. I'm kind of antisocial. Um, but then I'm also super fucking social cause I have a double personality. <laughs> um, but the point I was trying to make, as I literally forgot what I was about to say, let me let me sip let me sip my tea. I've had a long day. I've been walking all the fuck over. I just got this crystal from the same gypsy lady. I bought a crystal from when I first visited Cluj. It's kind of nice, right? I don't know what, what is this a clear quartz? I have no fucking idea, guys. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what the fuck crystals do or are. But this one feels like past life knowledge or some shit i don't fucking know but anyways i was saying like with you know with the last weekend like um with the partying and stuff that like that i saw how that expansion stuff comes out right um i was like i remember like the first night i got there right because the, the 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 celebration i went there for a concert my favorite artist Armin van buren is like the best guy you, you can ever meet especially famous super humble like amazing artists obviously too and it's not just him it's like a whole thing it's like a whole like family kind of vibe i don't even know how to describe it it's not like a cult it's just like it attracts a certain kind of person but like i feel bad because i keep fucking up at these things not fucking up but like i feel like i need to start going sober because like i take them as like i've always been conditioned that you have like like or like I've always enjoyed drinking, you know, and like I always like kind of like I'm like okay, I've been I've, I haven't had any alcohol, any whatever for like uh, you know this long. I sh I deserve to go out and just do this. Of course, Friday night the concert Saturday night. I get in Thursday night. I sleep Friday night. I meet my friend who lives there, and I just go hard. And I'm like meeting all these people. I'm having a great time, and I meet this girl. I'm not even attracted to her. Like this is like like what's so crazy about the world is like. I'm not even attracted to this chick, right? Like, on like she's a nice girl. She's smart. She guessed my age because I always try to fuck with people. Um, you know, maybe you can't tell now because I, I, I kind of didn't sleep very well. But, like, usually, like, I look pretty young. Like, I can kind of pass, like, um, 
like mid twenties, whatever. I I like to just kind of fuck with people. Just to, I don't know. Maybe it's a weird thing of mine. Anyways, like I'll ask people like, oh, how old am I? How old am I? And like people will be like, oh, 25, 26, 23. It's never like what I actually am, which is thirty two. Yesterday, and this chick just like guessed it right away. She's just like, you're thirty one. It's like, damn. And uh, I was like, no, you're wrong. But then I told her in here, it's like, you're fucking right. And um, then she guessed another, like, another thing that, like, I, I, I kind of just fuck with people all the time. Not in a mean way. Just, like, I like to kind of, you know, I'm like a jester or something. And, like, all these Korean people. I don't know. I just get into crazy situations, you know. I could write a book about, like, if I, if I just went out all the time, it would be so entertaining. Like, it's like I just become, like, a comedian when I drink. Um, I don't think about sex at all. It does not exist. Like literally like nothing, nothing exists besides conversation and laughing for me when I, when I drink, which is why like I have like a different karma. I think different people have different karmas with alcohol. Right. And mine is very like, like, I don't want to say good because like the hangovers, I fucking hate them. But like, I don't ever have like a bad, like angry drunk type thing, depressed drunk. Like I, I, like it's, I'm usually fucking pretty, pretty awesome. And make tons of friends from tons of places, which is like my Sag Moon loves that because like sober, I'm I'm more like I wouldn't say I'm shy, but like I'm not out there like fucking making friends from this place from this place, conversate like Leo Rising comes out, all that stuff. But anyways, this girl and this was so sad to me, and I thought about this like she wouldn't accept like so I love this music so much, so like I was like you know, I think it was probably $50 and like the proceeds for the tickets go, go to Ukraine. It, it, it all went to the Red Cross of Poland. That's like what Armin was doing, the DJ, you know, or the, the, the man, like he did the whole concert, a hundred percent of everything went to Ukraine. So like in my head, I'm like, all right, like it's, it's, you know, I'm going to like this girl says she loves this kind of music trance. I'm going to just like be like Mr. Beast. Do you, you know, like I, I've always been like this. Like I've always loved giving things to people who are like very grateful and who maybe are haven't had the privilege like me to go to a, a trance concert. Maybe they've listened to it on YouTube and like they've loved it, but they've just never had the money. So I offered this girl, right? Like, and I'm, I swear to God, I'm not creepy at all. I'm just fucking honest. I'm like, yo, I'll buy you a fucking ticket right now. And it didn't even cross my fucking mind. This is just how sick the world is. That I totally, if I was a fucking creepy dude would be doing this in a way that like, we're, we're like, I, I'd be, okay, yeah, I bought you the ticket. Now you have to like put out or some shit. Or like, I, like I, I gave you this. Now you have to give me something. And like, when she, she started thinking that, right? And I was like, oh shit. I was like, no, like, no. Like that didn't even cross my mind. Like I'm literally just being nice. Like I don't even give a fuck. You can like literally go alone. I'll give you the fucking ticket. I don't even need to go with you. I'm just trying to fucking be nice. And she just like didn't believe me and her whole energy changed. She started kind of like being a bitch to me and like, like telling other people like I was like, like, like fucked up and stuff. And it's just like, it's shit like that. That kind of like makes you kind of like think like, man, what world do we live in? You know, where you can't even do something nice for someone without them thinking that you're like, and this is Poland. This isn't like America. It's even worse. Right. Or like other places that lived in, you know, um, not like saying Americans are bad. I'm just saying like 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 I like I feel like if I did that, actually I don't fucking know. Maybe 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 it doesn't really matter about the place for for that kind of reaction. But like, the point to all this is that like, the archetype of Jupiter was too strong there, you know. And um, with all these experiences, right, there has to be some level of analyzing of looking at them and and kind of like bringing yourself down to earth and making sense, piecing the thing, everything together, right? You can't just have experience and not analyze it, right? And not spend time alone after, right? This is my first time like actually alone since that weekend, right? I'm not going to go into why. Don't you worry about it. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's, it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane. I think I'm gonna make two videos now because I'm already at fucking fourteen forty two. I wish I could do two minute vlog, two minute, two hour vlogs, and people would listen. I swear. Um. All right.